In Microsoft Publisher, we have various options for safe effects. So over here, what we can do is we can go into uh, the format options and over here there's shape effects as you can see. So inside of shape effects, you can work with shadows. So there are different shadows that you can choose from. For example, this one, which actually drops out the shadow right here. And over here, there's also an inner shadow effect just like this, as you can see right here. So these are quite subtle effects that you can see and we're going to see in a while how we can tweak them as well. There's also reflection options right here. So there are reflections that you can add in. You can also go into safe effects, go for a glow option right here for different color glows. You can also work with its color. And over here, you can work with its soft edges as well. So if you want a little bit of soft edge, you can see that edges can be adjusted as well. You can also have a bubble effect to give it a 3D look, just like that. And you can also go for a 3D rotation tool to give it a different angle. In order to edit all of these, you can go into any one of them and you can go for options. So I'm going to go into the shadow option right here and you can see that there's options all around and you can access all of these right here. And inside of shadows, you can see that there are presets you can choose from, or you can increase and decrease the transparency, you can increase the blur, you can increase the angle and the distance. So let me just uh, increase the distance right here. And let me show you how we can work on this. Since there's a lot of effects, I'm simply going to uh, select this out, just like this, press OK. I'm going to do on a new shape so you can see all of the changes I'm going to make. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select uh, this object right here. So let me apply all the shadow effects to this and show you how it works. So I'm going to go into format inside of shape effects on shadows. I can go into shadow options. So you can go for the preset right here. So I'm going to go and select this one and I can work with its transparency. Uh, I can increase this, I can increase the size, I can increase the distance which uh, is left for 85 and I'm going to press OK and I can see that a similar shadow effect actually appears just like that. You can also go for the reflection part in the reflection options. Uh, there are different reflection options you can choose from. For example, this one, I'm going to increase the distance as well and press OK and you can see that the distance is actually there. So you have a cool effect right there. You can go uh, also go over here. Well, I'm going to go into shape effect in the glow. You can go for more glow options right here. Choose the preset of the glow. I'm going to choose that it is higher. I'm going to increase its size as well. And I'm gonna go, go select its color just like this and I'm gonna press OK just like that. So the glow effect has been applied just like that. Also gonna go into bevel right here. So bevel effect is right there and also the 3D rotation. There are options that you can choose from. You can choose different angles right here. Press OK and you can see that the angle has been applied just like that. So that is how you can work with uh, safe effects inside of microsoft publisher hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe